All right, I'm in a bit of an unusual location with uh, sort of a different vest on because I'm checking out a vehicle that you normally don't get to take a look at today. This is, uh, this is the key to the vehicle. It probably sort of gives it away, but it's this thing. This is the Amazon Rivian electric delivery van. Some of you might already know this, but near our studio, we see these all the time and I see them in neighborhoods all the time because there's a delivery or a fulfillment center like right by us. But I've never actually gotten to like look inside of one of these or actually appreciate what makes it good, why it's electric. I mean, I drive past one in a normal Rivian truck all the time, but this is a pretty big part of Rivian's business that they put a lot of money and effort into. So I wanted to check it out for myself. And now I actually get to do that. So I decided to bring you guys with me. So let's check it out. I'm gonna start on the outside first because I've gotten a lot of info on this now, just on how it gets used as basically an office for these drivers every single day and what they do in and around these vans. So pardon the echo, it's a huge warehouse as you can see behind me, but I got a lot to show you. So let's start with the key. So this is the key and it's a pretty slim sort of plastic key. And the one thing you're gonna notice throughout this entire experience is a lot of the material choices in here, they're geared to just be as lightweight and functional as possible. It's not about luxury driving. This is about being functional for the drivers on a daily basis. So it's got a little belt clip, put it on your pocket. You've got a lock and unlock switch right here. They work from a pretty decent range. And uh, there's a manual key inside in case the key fob dies. Hopefully I don't need that. But let's look at the front. So you see these things in neighborhoods all the time. There are actually two different sizes of them right now. They call them the 500 and the 700. What we're looking at right now, this is a 700. It's the bigger version. It's a little bit longer and a little bit wider than the 500, but they're in the same class of vehicle. And then around the front here, this is the sort of a friendly face you see in the neighborhoods. It's got the Amazon branding. And if you look closely in these cartoonish looking headlights, there's actually a Amazon logo, little Amazon smile there. Uh, I'm shooting this also on the iPhone 15 Pro, so if you see that haloing right there, and that's, that's why. But okay, let's start with the driver's side, because you already know if you're uh, operating one of these things, you care a lot about the driver's side. So over here, charge port. And I think I'm gonna get my numbers up here so I get this right. So these all will stage up in a area, actually in a separate section of this building. Uh, but one of these vans gets about 150 to 160 miles to a charge. They are fast charge capable, but they basically charge overnight because the drivers never really have to go that many miles in a single day. Now here, just for proof, I'm actually in the separate part of this building where all of these vans charge. So when the drivers are done at the end of every day, they pull them in here and it's this huge indoor charging facility. They've got all these level two chargers just lined up all the way down, tons of them. And like I said, drivers will use 20, 30, 40% maybe of the battery in a day. And they come back and plug in just like that overnight. Next day, they start with a full charge again. Ideally, no range anxiety at all. It's got these big industrial 17 inch wheels with big soft tires, hopefully that are very durable. You can see the suspension, the whole size of the bottom of the thing, a little bit of co-branding powered by Rivian there. And then a little bit of a cover on the backside wheel ideally for aerodynamic efficiency. This is not a performance drive, and I'll get more into the actual drive in a little bit, but it's like a nine second zero to 60 or something like that. It's not, it's not amazing. It's not, like a, <laughs> it's not like the Rivian R1S or anything, but for driving around our neighborhood, it's plenty. Okay, here's the door. I'm gonna get inside. There's a little pocket door here and there's an eject button. You press it, kind of assists you getting this door open because it's a pretty big door, as you can see. And it's a tall vehicle. Here's the Amazon Smile. And again, a lot of the materials inside, as you can see, are either a little bit of a blue accent or just like rubber and plastic. All right, here's the driver's side. So the driver's side door is a regular door because when you're driving around and dropping things off in neighborhoods, that's the sidewalk. On the other side, that's typically not a sidewalk, that's into the street. So this door is a pocket door. You've probably also seen these on the USPS van, etc. Slides open like that really easily. It's actually very lightweight. And the whole idea is people are gonna be doing this dozens and dozens of times every day, so it should be easy. So here's that handle again. Slides it closed. If I wanna open it, slides it open. And there's a step to get in, and there's also a handle over here if I wanna grab that. 
handle up here if that's easier. There's a jump seat for a potential passenger or for ride-alongs. I'm just gonna grab uh, this one. Get in with the step. When I get in, bro, this is tall. Like I am fully, I am fully standing up in this sort of front cabin. The cargo area is behind me, which we'll do in a second, but still a ton of room. And if I sit down here, I'll have a ton of room also. So uh, I feel pretty confident saying any size delivery driver can make this work, which is great. So then here, let's check this out. Wow, that was a solid door close. So here's the window, pretty normal. You've got a little bit of a pocket here, but then that's the door eject button. And then you've got the sort of a driver setup right here. The steering wheel, the screen behind the steering wheel, air conditioning, and your primary screen, which will do most of your work on. And then there's actually some spots around it too. So the one single physical button here is your hazards. That's no surprise. But this is actually, oh, sorry, the, uh, the dome light's turned off. I better go in here and turn the dome lights on because I'm an expert already. Uh, <laughs> so this is a wireless charger down here and you can pop your phone down there and it'll wireless charge if you're a driver or there's USB-C and USB-A. Then behind the screen, there's another nice area, maybe put a phone or a tablet or something like that. And yep, there's some more ports there for that. Huge handle, another little cargo space there and a ton of open floor. So that's great. Then basically this is where all of the work happens for a driver on a daily basis. So this is true about a gas version or an electric version, but this is just the Rivian setup that we're used to with the screen over here. Every day they have an app on their device that they scan. This is the rear view camera. Since you can't see behind you, there's no regular rear view mirror. You'd just be seeing that. So you can tap in there and get a 360 view. And that's a top-down 360 view. There's a bunch of cameras actually all over this vehicle from the front to the tops around the sides. So this is a view you get that stitches in real time, which is pretty sweet. You can actually connect your phone with Bluetooth, play whatever music or radio, and then all of your vehicle controls. Now I've been told by a driver actually that this is one of the best seats they've ever had <laughs> in a delivery vehicle because it has really, really fast and really good heating and cooling. Something you don't think about that much, but a driver getting in and out of a vehicle with open doors and a huge glass canopy over and over again, like the inside of the cabin's gonna get hot or cold no matter what the weather is. So you can do that all the time, but your seat will always be nice and warm or cool, which is great. But yeah, I think this is a this is a nice little uh, little office, a little beginning of an office, you got this huge canopy, a gigantic sunscreen. Look, I've never driven one of these vehicles before, but this is the biggest uh, sunshade I've ever used in my life. It's the size of like two iPad Pros. I don't even know if you can even tell how big that is, but that is great. <laughs> you see your clearance height, nine foot seven. So if you're driving under a bridge, now you know. <laughs> and then uh, the AC stuff behind you, it's all very, very compact in here, it's very driver focused. If you've ever driven a Rivian before, you know that the steering wheel does look a lot like this. You get this new Amazon logo, let's hear the horn. It echoes a lot, but that's the horn. <laughs> but then typically you have your vehicle set up and the other cars around you on the road in the middle and the navigation over on the left. But when you're driving a delivery van, navigation is the foremost, most important thing. So that's gonna be up in the middle all the time. And then the other cars on the road and things like that are on the left. And then you can of course adjust your music volume, Bluetooth volume. And then you get all the info here for vehicle controls, including the bulkhead door. What's the bulkhead door, you may ask? It's this one, which has a handle, but it's way more fun to press the button. I'm gonna turn you around as I press the button, just cause I need you to see how fast this opens. Three, two, one. That's pretty good. And it also opens and closes automatically. So if I park the vehicle, it opens right away because I'm about to go back there and grab a package. If I get in drive, it'll close automatically. And there's also a fan system and an AC unit back here, just in case it's extremely hot. Normally you don't have to air condition the entire cargo van, but if it's a million degrees outside, maybe you just want that to be a little cooler too. But let's get back here. So again, I'm, I'm 6'3", and I can walk under this roof comfortably without ducking, which is awesome. And then you get into the back of this van. Again, this is the bigger one. It's the 700. 
He's got all these adjustable shelves. I'm assuming normally it's not quite this open. It's full of packages and loaded up like Tetris, but down here it is rubberized. So ideally it's a kind of non-slip if it's raining or snowing or something like that. You get to the back here are some folded up. So you can see what that looks like. You've got a pallet jack or a sort of a carry assistance, but then here's the, here's the sort of garage door in the back which is how you get out the back or into the back. So again, pretty easy to open. I'm gonna press this button here and watch how fast this opens, ready? There it is. It's over my head, totally open. Typically, and what I've been told by drivers is this is a pretty uh, heavy door, like a wooden door, a manual door. It's a lot of work to open and close, but in this one, it's pretty thin. I mean, I think this is metal still, but it's a thin piece of metal and it's lightweight. So you come over here to close it. And uh, yeah, can confirm, that's pretty easy. If I wanna get in and out, there's a handle right there. And that's what it's like in the back of the cargo space. This is, this is tight. LED lights up here, automatically turning on and off. This is a really solid back of the van here. So now let me just get back to the outside real quick because there's still some more I want to show you. By the way, there's two cup holders at the front. I don't know if I showed you that before. Anyway, let's get to the exterior because if you've ever seen one of these in, uh, in your neighborhood or in your area at all, you've seen the sides and you've seen the back. So you've got this huge Amazon logo. I mean, it's unmistakable when this thing pulls up to your neighborhood. It's the Amazon truck. The Amazon truck is arriving. They've done a great job with the branding. And the most iconic part, honestly, to me, might not be the front. It might be the back, which has this huge arch of a red light all the way around the top back. They call it the crown, and it's got this huge blue Amazon branding. So if you're ever behind one of these things, you can't miss it. It's unmistakable. When those things light up and the hazards turn on, you can be sure that the th thing is visible and pulling over. And then also, you might have heard that sound that it makes when it locks. So a Rivian R1T and R1S, you probably have already heard make that chirping sound. It's not like a horn beep when you lock, it's a chirp sound. This is what the sound of the Amazon delivery van is when the driver walks over with the key fob in their pocket. That's it. Nice little pleasant, not so neighborhood interrupting sound. So that is my look at this thing. I'm gonna drive it shortly there and actually let me take it around the parking lot outside around the building. But I just think it's cool that even outside of like buying a personal vehicle, it's awesome that people are getting introduced to EVs in a really positive way. This is just a single motor front wheel drive, nine seconds zero to 60, but it has one pedal driving with regenerative braking. It has 150 to 160 miles of range every day. and. Ideally, that's worry-free because these things come back every day and charge overnight for the drivers. Also, I just found one more camera right under the Amazon logo there. Either way, I think that's about it. I'm going to take my drive. I'll let you know if I find anything else cool. But thanks for taking a look at the sort of secret Rivian project that you might not have known about with me for the first time. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.